This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com Okay, friends, one more clip today. I want to share with you um, one more idea, a beautiful idea about uh, Chodesh Elul. This week is Shabbos Mavarchim Chodesh Elul. And uh, the Shirim of Friday are dedicated by my dear friend Rabbi Tzal Rose, L'zech Nishmas Tzvi, Ben Levi Yitzchak. And um, today's Shurim are dedicated by an amazing organization called Daily Giving, where they provide every Jew the opportunity to give tzedakah every single day of one's life. And uh, as we mentioned, you could sign up for you, for your spouse, for your children. And uh, it's a way to be mechanech, your family, of the importance of regular giving of tzedakah, that G'dayla Tzedakah Shem Mekareves Es Hagula, you could go to dailygiving.org. Okay, this Shabbos is Shabbos Mevarchim Elo. The following idea hit me today. You know, uh, for those who had the privilege of learning in Yeshivas, we all know that Elo was a very serious time. Not only is it the beginning of the Zman, but there's a certain reverence and awe associated with Chaydash Elo. I'm sure we've all heard stories about how the Bali Musar were gripped with a certain awe when they heard Rosh Chodesh Elul. The words Rosh Chodesh Elul evokes a very deep Yira Shamayim in the heart of the Bali HaMusar of Bali Yira Shamayim Elul, Elul, Elul. We heard stories about Rabbi Yisrael Salanter, Rabbi Yisrael Petterberg. Elul is a time of fear. Even the Rishonim Darshan. Aryeh Shoag Milo Yira. Aryeh stands for Elul. Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur Hashana Rabbah. Elul begins a time of Yira Shamayim. But isn't it interesting? that we, Because we all know that Elul is also associated with Avas Hashem. Elul is Rosh Hashanah. Ani L'doidi V'doidi Li. I am for my beloved, and my beloved is for me. The month of Elul is a time of year of Ahavas Hashem, of Eis Doidim, and about doing tshuva me'ahava, about the tremendous love that Hakadosh Baruch Hu has for us. So, are these like two different schools of thought? You know, is there like the Balei Moser? They're focused on the fear and the awe and the frightening ramifications of Elo, the Ari Shag. And maybe others, they say, no, it's a time of Eis Doidim, a time of Ahava, a time of, of experiencing the great closeness of Hashem, the great love of Hashem. And I believe that it's specifically during Chodesh Elo, which inherently reflects the great love we have to Hashem, that Hashem has for us, that is the best and that is the only time that we're able to uh, focus on your Shamayim um, in such an important way. And let's explain. You know, there, and this is something we spoke about last week as well, that for a person to be able to have your Shamayim, it's not enough to have Emunah. And it's not enough to believe that there is uh, accountability and that HaKadosh Baruch is watching us and that there's Chav Oynesh. That's not enough for a person. Because even if a person believes Be'amun Shlema, that Hashem is watching us and there's accountability for our Masim, so long as a person feels that he won't be successful in his Avodah Hashem, So long as a person feels that he's so hopeless and so far gone and it's going to be so challenging for him to do what Hashem wants, it will be impossible for such a person to have your Hashemayim because the prospects and the the idea of reward and punishment and Hashkacha is so overwhelming that a person is not able to deal with it. A person cannot conduct himself with with, uh, a real, genuine 
feeling of your Shamayim. If in a person's mind, the person thinks, you know what? There, there's so many, uh, li- the likelihood of me sinning is, is so great. It's not possible for me to really do what HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants in this world. Which would then mean that I'm going to be liable to a terrible punishment. So forget the whole thing. I mean, oh yeah, I believe, but on a, on a real practical level, I can't live like that. And therefore, a person, to a certain extent, blocks the Yeras Shamayim out of his mind and out of his heart. This is what the Sefer HaIkram teaches. Ki imcha hasulicha laman tivare. That because Hashem forgives us, therefore we could f- fear Him. Which is counterintuitive. Because Hashem fears us, therefore, I'm sorry, because Hashem forgives us, therefore we could fear Him. Just the opposite. If Hashem wouldn't forgive us, then we would have more fear for Him. No, it's not true. If Hashem would not forgive us, our, our futures would be so bleak, our hope for blessing would be, would be so uh, nil, that a person would not be able to fear Hashem. It would not be possible for the human mind to accept upon itself the ramification of accountability, and therefore a person would not have Yerushalayim. You know what allows for Yerushalayim? What allows for Yerushalayim is the fact that we know that Hashem loves us and is forgiving of us. So now we're playing, we're involved in an activity that the cards are not stacked against us. We're involved in an activity that we know we could be successful at. You see, if a human being doesn't think it could be successful, then it's not willing to be part of the contest. Nobody wants to be part of a contest that they know they're going to be a failure at. The only way a human being is willing to enter the fold of Yira Shamayim is Kiyimcha Haslicha, knowing Hashem forgives us, knowing that Hashem loves us, knowing that Hashem is rooting us on, knowing that the Yibbana Shem is understanding of us. Kiyimcha Haslicha Laman Tivare. Therefore, the month of Yira Shamayim can only be in a month where we feel the Ava of Hashem. Only in a month that we know, you know who I'm dedicating myself to? I'm dedicating myself to someone that I love and that loves me and that wants me to be successful and that will help me be successful in this world and will help me be successful in Avodah Hashem and that will be forgiving of me to such a Rebbeinah Shalaylam. If somebody recognizes when someone understands that they're interacting with, some, with someone who loves them, they're able to have Yira Shamayim. The reason why Elul is a month of Yira is only because it's a month of Ahava. Without the Ahava of Elul, the Yira would not really be possible. Yeah, people would play, uh, pay it lip service. People would say, yeah, that's I know, that's what I'm supposed to do. But to genuinely, for the human being, to genuinely give himself over to Yira Shamayim, it's only in a month of Ahava. And that is why, friends, that is why, you know, it's interesting, we have three months of Paranusa, the three months of the three, the three weeks of Paranusa, during the three weeks, and then we have seven weeks of consolation taking us all the way up to Rosh Hashanah. And then we have two weeks of tshuva. And isn't it interesting, Rabbi Isai, that it could be the week before Rosh Hashanah and the haftarahs that we're reading, we're still not reading haftarahs of tshuva. We don't read haftarahs of tshuva until Tzayim Gedalia. Up until Rosh Hashanah, we're still reading Shiva Denechemta. Why is that? That's because so long as a person feels um, broken and punished and unworthy, we know that the series of the year is, we have have weeks of punishment, and after the three weeks of punishment, we should start tshuva right away. Now, who could do tshuva? When a person feels punished and broken and a failure, nobody wants to change. 
Change is only possible. Tshuva is only possible when we feel the great consolation of Hashem. When we feel that Hashem is going to help us. When we feel that Hashem has our best interests in mind. When we feel that Hashem is going to w- wants our success and is going to make us successful. And this is the idea that there are not two concepts. El is the month of love and El is the month of Yer Shamayim. Yer Shamayim for the human being is really only practically possible in the framework of understanding that HaKadosh Baruch Hu loves us. And that is, this is the sort of the dichotomy, but it's not a dichotomy. The framework, the context of the Yira of Elul is only in the Ani L'doidi V'doidi Li. I wish everyone Agun Chodesh, Agun Shabbos, and Bracha V'atzlacha. Kal Tov. Have a good Shabbos. Good Shabbos. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.